estrogen receptors can be classified as promiscuous. This means that they actually can bind to things other than estrogen itself. So there is a range of chemical compounds which act like estrogen because even if they are not estrogen, they bind the estrogen receptor and turn on the same genes which estrogen would, including those genes which promote cell division. Many of these estrogens come from plants and are known as phytoestrogens. And so many individuals have a higher than normal estrogen exposure because of the phytoestrogens that they are being exposed to from, say, soy or hops or alfalfa. And there is concern that this is, among other things, increasing the risk of breast cancer in women and decreasing sperm counts in men. There is a chemical known as bisphenol A, or BPA, which was originally developed as an estrogen to give to pregnant women, but was later used as a synthetic component in the manufacture of plastics, often plastics which compose food and drink containers, including baby bottles and medical equipment. An estimated 100 tons of BPA are released into the atmosphere per year. BPA uh, can be subsequently found in drinking water. and as something which, which was originally developed as an estrogen. It can bind estrogen receptors and mimic some of the effects of estrogen. BPA has been reported in blood serum, breast milk, and the placenta. Amniotic fluid may actually have levels of BPA which are five times higher than that of maternal blood. And animal studies have demonstrated that BPA can lower the age of puberty, affect sexual development, promote and alter breast development, and cause abnormalities of reproductive organs. Higher levels of BPA have been reported in women who have suffered a miscarriage. There is the concern then that the plastics which surround our food and drink have estrogenic compounds which can enter our food and drink, especially if heated, say water bottles uh, heated when left in the sun or baby bottles which uh, are heated. And thus individuals can receive uh, additional estrogen uh, compared to what their bodies are producing and thus have a higher level of breast cancer risk because of the estrogenic compounds in the plastic surrounding our food and drink. There are a number of other chemicals which may be ingested from the environment, including uh, components of some pesticides, which are also estrogenic and can increase the risk of breast cancer. Since many of these are fat soluble and thus can be stored in the adipose surrounding breast tissue, there is the concern that uh, additional exposure to specific chemicals and pesticides can increase breast cancer risk.